Hey, what's up guys? My name is Michael Westbrook. As always, thank you for checking out this video. Today, I am super excited to announce the release of my brand new course that is called Creating and Layering Parts. This is all about combining guitar parts and creating guitar parts that all work together. You can find more info about this in the description below, but today I'm going to talk a little more about the course, let you know what I cover in it, and kind of who it's for. When I started this channel a year and a half ago, I had no idea what to expect. And one thing that caught me by surprise is how much of a musical outlet the demos or the tracks became for me. Obviously, with the pandemic going on for the last year and some odd months, I haven't been playing as much. I haven't been doing as much musically. So creating these tracks for my videos really was one of my main musical outlets. You guys' feedback and encouragement and questions surrounding all of the tracks has been amazing, so thank you guys for that. Um, as I was kind of brainstorming new video ideas one day, I started thinking about that, um, that you guys seem to really like those tracks and I get a lot of questions about how I make those. So I started going through my process of how do I come up with parts? How do I figure out how to combine all these parts into a little musical piece? And as I went through that process for myself, and kind of outlined all of that, I realized that this is way too much for a YouTube video. And, you know, that it was going to be way too much content and how do I break that down in such a short amount of time? So that's where I got the idea for creating this course. One thing that I'm really excited with about this course is that I feel like it applies to a lot of different types of players. In this course, I'm not specifically talking about chord shapes or scales or anything technical, but we're talking about a lot of big ideas and ways to put together parts. Now, this is great because you can be at a variety of different skill levels um, or in, within your knowledge of you know what you can play and all of that, but then it also applies to a lot of different styles. I feel like the concepts and the ideas in this course apply to so um, such a wide range of people when it comes to types of players and styles of players and all of that. So I'm really excited about that because I feel like if these concepts are implemented in your playing that it's going to make you better and you're going to have more fun and it should be be pretty easily done with how the course is laid out. So what's that look like? What's in the course? It's divided into three main parts. The first part is called general considerations. These are just big ideas and concepts that should allow you to create parts that all have their own unique space and not become cluttered. In part two, I'm dividing all guitar parts into five categories. This is really ambitious and I know it probably sounds a little crazy, but I find it's a super practical way to divide up parts and kind of give yourself a mental checklist when you're trying to come up with parts and figure out what a song needs. In part three, we go through a lot of different examples and we see how the concepts in sections one and two all play out. I also talk about this idea of interlocking parts and it's this idea of creating parts that all have their own space and fit and work together. There's a link in the description below that will take you directly to the course. You can kind of see the layout of the course and, and see all what's featured in there. There's also some bonus content where I discuss a few different points that I touch on throughout the course. Um, I'm just going a little more in depth. Thank you guys for watching this video. I know it's a bit of a commercial, but I just wanna let you guys know a little more about the course and what it covers. Um, so if you're interested, if it sounds like something that could be helpful for you, definitely check it out. All right, until next time, I'll see you out there.